right, guys, what's going on? We're back on the Crack Pack server for some more modded Minecraft today. Hi, I'm here. So, last time we left off, we managed to upgrade our Blood Altar to Tier 5, which is the highest tier possible. There's not a lot of things in here. Very, very cool indeed. Today, there's two things I want to set my sights on. The first one being Bound Armor, and the second one being uh, the Blood Magic Alchemy sort of thing where we can make potions. So, those are the two things I want to look into today. Uh, but first things first, we're going to need some uh, sockets, which is the basic, basic constant. Yeah, I can't even talk today. <laughs> uh, the sockets are the base element that we need for creating bound armor so i think i'm probably just gonna put like the bound armor stuff here in one room also someone was telling me that now i have an insane amount of life points i could probably just uh why does my sound keep on going to 16 no clue i could probably just uh you know go and oh i heard something there not good i could go and use my bound pickaxe and just get lots and lots of things so i want to go and try that out have i got my my sigil here. Oh, there it is there. So how much LP do I have? Yeah, I have a million. I know someone said this was not a million. Or sorry, it was a... Uh, I said last episode this was 10 million. It's just 1 million. So I want to go and check that out. I'll meet you guys somewhere. Well, right, for toxic, let's uh, go over here, okay? Right here, okay? And I want to just go down as far as I can, possibly. And then... Oh, crap. I'll, I guess I can do it here. I don't really care. Um, let me try this out. Oh gosh. How much did that take away? That wasn't even that much, man. And it's still going back up. Like, we could literally just spam the hell out of this. And get some epic mining going on for resources. Like, if we ever need resources. I was a big, fond user of the turtles. But, you know, even now, if we just need resources, we can just do that. So let me just plug all that up. I probably should have took another sigil with me. The one that could actually block water source blocks, but whatever. So, let me just crack a blood lamp up there. So we don't get, you know... Oh, there's a chest. Interesting. Interesting, eh? Nothing in it. Of use. Nothing there. Are these source blocks, man? They're gonna be the death of me. Not cool. Is that it? Right. Look, we've even uh, got our LP back, so that's kinda cool. So did I just do this the entire way down? I feel kind of cheaty, you know? I wonder what this is. Are these the turrets that B-Dubs is building? Because if so, they look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. We actually have a builder on our team, guys. Holy crap. Oh, if he's gonna put, like, something on top of those. I don't know if this is a prank or not, or if it's actually B-Dubs building this, but it looks really cool. Really like the style. I'm surprised that hasn't caught him fire yet, though. But I think he's going to put those like little watchtowers there. And we're going to put lots of uh, lots of turrets on them. So I need to get back to my job, which is, as I said before, alchemy potions and bound armor. So, yep. Yeah. All right. So a socket consists of four weak blood shards combined with a diamond and five glass, four glass. <laughs> this is an empty socket. Now to fill the socket, we actually have to bring it over to our blood altar. And it needs 30,000 LP. Yeah, quite a lot of LP it's need, it needs. So we're going to have to wait for this to fill up. Um, what did I dump my sigil? Where are you? Thankfully, we can hold enough. Um, we have uh, quite a big altar here. So just waiting for this to fill up 30k. So as you can see, 30k. And that will just absorb. And it will give us a filled... Socket. No, we need a lot of these guys, like quite a lot. Um, so what I plan to do is get enough sockets for a full armor set. And then before I actually do um, fight, or sorry, make the armor, yeah, wear the armor, I want to summon an elemental because I want to try and get a demon blood shard. And the only way you can get these is by fighting elementals that you summon. So... I have no clue how hard these guys are. Um, I'm actually probably going to get a creative and do some tests, but right now I need to kill regular mobs for blood shards. So as you can see, I got one there. I'm going to need quite a lot, actually. Probably, I don't know, maybe a stack or more. So 
Did I get blood shards from killing you? Because? I don't think I did. I think you only get them from killing hostiles. So, I guess <laughs> I'll join you guys in a bit. Hello guys, I'm back. Um, and I was charging my jetpack up and that thing happened again. I'm just now getting like unlimited jetpacks for free. I have no idea what I'm doing. But somehow it's giving me unlimited jetpacks. Now I take that out, I assume this will stop. Yeah. So if you have a fully charged jetpack and put it in here, somehow it generates more jetpacks. That is weird as hell. That is weird as hell. I don't know what is the cause of that, but it's very weird. I'm not gonna lie, very, very weird. Have I even got my thing on? My sound on? I was wondering what that was. Right. I'm on like 20 frames per second right now. I, I'm just gonna throw all these items in the in the pool. They'll just despawn. I could throw them into. Uh... Frick! No, he's gonna get one, isn't he? Can he go in there? Die! There we go. Look at all those jetpacks. <laughs> just sitting in there. Goodbye, jetpacks. Well, I guess we're back. Sorry, I took a big long break there trying to get those done. Um, but I should be okay now. I went mining there with my uh, bone pickaxe. I managed to get quite a reasonable amount. Uh, so, quite happy with that. Let's get on it with some more bone. Not bone, sorry. Let's get some more sockets made. So we can fill those up. So, socket. Empty socket. 40 diamonds. Oh, yeah. I have uh, enough for, I guess, 12, 11. I actually don't even know if I'll have enough sa or glass. Nope, I won't. Wow. That's kind of disappointing. What am I missing? Am I missing glass there as well? So yeah, I am missing glass, but in total I have 10. So let me just count this out on the crafting table. So I need... I'm probably only going to be able to do one piece of armor today. Um, just because I don't have the, um, the correct amount of blood shards. But I will do an elemental summon, I think. Just to see how tough it is. So I'll do that. So um, I definitely want to make at least one piece today. And then I'll do an elemental sewing. Alright, you need a magician's blood orb. I forgot to unburn my blade. Rookie mistake there, guys. Can end up to my death. You need four fiddle sockets. And you combine them with... Oh, no. I have forgotten stone. You gotta be kidding me, man. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, I'll just smelt a lot of that. I think I need four stone... Um, so it actually uses blocks as the GUI, rather than GUI being graphical unit interface. Um, so they use blocks as the interface for the Soul Forge. There is no sort of, uh, coded GUI for this. So we take those four, right? And they go in the outer lane. One, two, three, four. I know Doc might have done this. I think Doc has done this already, but I'm playing a little bit of catch-up now. Not a diamond. Blood Orb. And there is... The Soul Forge armor, and you need one of those for every. You need one of those for every uh, sort of uh, thing you create. So we've got fifteen, and I need nine. And hmm, let's see. No, I don't think I'll have enough to create two, but I will have enough to create one. I guess I'll craft the bound chest plate now. Um, but first we need eight empty sockets. Sucks, man. Sucks big time, but. You know, not much we can do. So, actually, I will create a burn chest plate today. So, I'll go and grab the necessary stuff. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Yay. Here we go, right? I'm only going to do a hat because I'm lazy. And, uh, well, I'm lazy. I guess that's my excuse. I could do boots. I mean, that, that's lazier, isn't it? But you get five of these blood sockets. Boom, oops, boom, boom, boom. And then you hit this. Ready? Boom. Boom. There we have our burned helmet. So, um, basically, you can attach uh, sigils to this. And uh, essentially, what it will do is emulate those effects. So, uh, for example, you put the lava sigil on it. And, uh, you know, you gain an immunity to lava. Um, the big effect of the... The burned armor is that if you have a full set of it on, so if I had all of it on, um, it would actually start absorbing damage and draining my LP. So, you know, uh, I'd have a maximum of like 5 million LP if I upgraded the Master Orb. 
and uh, that would you know be my life points essentially and it would make me invincible to an extent i think i'm still susceptible to wither and poison though so they could kill me but other than that i mean i'm pretty much invincible so i think that's why doc banned it from combat i personally won't be using it you know i just wanted to show it off maybe i'll use it for like going and messing around in but i won't be using it competitively um, on the server i keep that there just just in case i want to uh do something but now we are moving on to elemental summons this should be fun i have no idea how strong these guys are nor do i know how to uh, defeat them so i'm gonna find out how to spawn them and i guess we'll take on one or two before we end today's episode uh sorry for the, the sh sort of shortness of this one i guess compared to my other ones but uh Again, I'm trying to stick to my one-a-day schedule, and I woke up really late today because I had to stay up all night babysitting last night. Yay. Yeah, it's fun. Not really, but has to be done. Has to be done. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in just a second. So I just discovered in order to summon, we have to actually uh, make some sort of set, uh, alchemy set. So it looks like I'm doing a bit of Walter White shenanigans in this room today. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I wanna I wanna at least summon something. I have no idea, but I just I'm interested how it works. Alright, so we need to make an alchemy set. Uh, we need a brain stand for one, so boom. That'll do. And uh, we need one of these basic blood orbs and two bits of obsidian. Oh gosh, I'm so awful at positioning these. There we go. The alchemic chemistry set. Oh wow. I'm a real scientist now, I'm only. Look at me, right? I guess we'll smack this down here. Why Why not? Like, why the hell not? So there we go. No, I, how do I use this thing, you may ask? Well, all right, I need to create a bunch of these simple catalysts, which I believe is gunpowder, salt, or sugar. Sorry, not sugar. Or not salt, sugar. And uh, redstone. And then a blood orb in there. And I just let that brew, I assume? I mean, okay, there we go. Does that take uh, LP for me, I wonder, though? That's the question. So I'm here, and I'm trying to get a few things made. But, uh, oh, I have the wrong type of orb, and that's why. So I'm trying to make um, basic elements for the chemistry set. So there's a couple you can make. Sanctus, Aether, or Aether, um, Terre, which is the element of Earth. So you can basically make... Tenebrae, you know, fire. Um, you can make earth, fire, water, wind, I think. So, all looks pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I'm making some here. And it's 500 LP for every one of these you make. So, I'm going to make some of them. Because I want to do some basic uh, summoning today. I want to hop onto that before we go. So, I'll make seven here. And, uh, yeah, there's seven of those. Sanctus. Um, so, what I want to do now is I want to make a... Uh, Another one called Aqua Salus, which is the the water element, I guess. So I'll get that stuff and I'll be right back. Right, we're back. Um, doing some more of that blood magic uh, element making thingy or bobber. I only want six, I guess. Actually, just give me four. That'll do. I really don't care. I don't even know if I have enough for four. I don't think I do. I only have enough for three. I'll have to do. Here we're going. So this is the aqua element. I'm just going to make a few of each element so I have enough to um, actually do some... Alright, I'll make four more of uh, this one here, which is the frost element. Yeah, there is those three elements. Next up we got the ether element, which is a lot of glowstone, some of these mixing solutions, uh, a lot of gas tears as well. So I think we have enough glowstone. Uh, all we need is gas tears and feathers. Alright, back down we go. Um, you know what, actually, I need to grab a bed. Um, I'll go and grab one now. Oops. We're getting like a little bit of lag everywhere, actually. Let me just grab a bed. And run over my base. The gym's is AFK, so we should be okay. Uh, I guess we'll rack that here. Can I not put that down? There we go. Well, I've got those elements. Ping those in there. And I think they just need gas tears. And that should be that. Yep. So I'm going to get maybe... I'll say one, two, three, four, 
I'll say five of those. I don't know why I'll just say five. Five of those ether items. Uh, next up, I need quite a bit of uh, obsidian in in and some sand. And that's going to make us, I think, three of the uh, terre. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's it there. It's, uh, I think it's a earth element. Get a bit of coal in there. I got a lot more obsidian, by the way. I went down and used my blood pick uh, to get it pretty easy, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, I thought I had more coal than that. I guess not. So after this, the only thing... I think that's actually the last element we need. So we can now start uh, getting some of the new things up, which I need to get, which is the arcane plinth, I think. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, block of iron, man. I'm going to... How many of those do I need? And then we need a pedestal. Yeah, the pedestal should be easy enough, actually. Since I have so much freaking obsidian, but... Everything else is going to be a bit tough. So let me go and dump lots of my items in here. Or at least the ones I don't need. In you go. I know I need all those elements, but I'll get them back in a bit. Uh, that's not on, that's not on. Undo that. What about you, Yeon? All good there. Um... So I think the only thing I need now is those plinths, and I also need a lot of iron, actually. Uh, so I'll go and get that, and I'll be our bee. Done. So let's go and craft the arcane pedestal. So how many do we need? I think for summoning we need, uh, let's see, pedestal one, two, three, four, five, six? I want to say six. I want to say six with one in the middle, so... I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll just branch off that. So give me six of those, and then apparently I need to create a um, arcane plinth. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll do that. We'll get one of those, and for good measure, I'm actually going to create another one of these because I'm not sure if I do need it or not, but I'll take it. There we go. Alright, let me try and find an area to get this set up in. It's probably going to be in here, actually, because we have the space. So just for record, you have uh, you have your normal sort of... Uh, uh, what am I going to call it? Your normal summon. And then you have uh, your uh, tier 1. So you have tier 1, which are normal summons. And then you have tier 2, which are... Uh, let me see. This is basically... Up. And then here, here, is it just one out? Yeah, it is one out. Um, tier 1, Tier 2, and Elemental Summon. So Tier 1 and Tier 2 are just basic easy ones. Um, elementals are actually the big boss guys that you have to fight. So I need to watch out for those. Um, I'm actually just going to try and do one right off the bat here. I'm not really sure how this will go, but I guess we'll see, won't we? So what do we need? We need Sanctus. Give me some Sanctus. I need Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. I need three of those. I need some Ether. I need some Terre. I'm pretty sure I had that still in my inventory and I clicked it up there. Did I not? Did I really? Oh, wait, no, it's there. See? It's Tenebrae. I need one of those and I need that. So, I think I put my Blood Orb in the middle, actually. Um, so, let me just sort these out. I don't really think the ingredient matters in terms of what order they're placed in I kind of hope they aren't otherwise I'm screwed I don't know if these guys are hostile or not either which is the problem so it should be, well when they have a name like guardian I assume it's going to be a guardian but this one is the fallen angel um not sure what she does I guess or he does but we'll give it a go oh crap yeah, okay, this is meant to happen, I think. I shouldn't actually have spawned this down here, now that I think about it. Right? Oh, crap. There it is there. Oh, wait. What, what are you hitting me for? Oh, crap, he's hitting me, man. No, stop hitting me. Oh, crap. I'll just kill him. I don't care. Get back here. Okay, he's dead. What did I get? I got a demon crystal used to spawn demons. Nice. 
Pretty good. We'll go for Ryan too, I guess. I'm going for the Lure Guardian this time. We need two Cobblestone. Uh, Terre. What do we need? Terre, Tenebrae. So let's get some of that. Terre, Tenebrae, one of each. And then we also need an Iron Nugget and Gold Ingot, so... We got our nugget and gold ingot. And I guess I just smack this in the middle again without trying to hurt myself. I have no idea. Yeah, I probably should just be hitting him with this instead. Actually, the cutlass is going to do a lot more damage, isn't it? What is this spawn? Here we go. Oh gosh, it's hitting me already. What is it? Oh gosh, this guy looks big. Oh gosh, he does a lot of damage too, but two hits and he's dead. Another demon crystal. Have I got enough for anything else? Uh, yeah, I do. I have a small earth golem, so... Double terre. No, I don't even have enough terre, man. Ah. Okay. Crystallis. Ice demon. Triple crystallis. One aculus. Sanctus. I should have enough, then. These are the ones you need for the earth demon. Or the ice demon. This is the last one I'm doing, guys, by the way. I haven't got enough for anything else. But I'm gonna try and get some of the... The better ones next episode. So here we go, I guess. May luck be in our favor. Because I know this guy will not be. So this is an ice demon. Let's see what he has to offer. Anything? How can a lightning strike through the thing, by the way? Oh, there he is there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He hurts. Only he's dead. Yeah, these are only tier one. You can see why. They're only tier one, guys. They suck. So we got three of those demon crystals. I'm not really sure what they're used for, actually. Are oh, they used for, uh... Let's see. What's it there? I'm not really sure. Used to spawn demons. What do I, if I do that, does it, like, spawn someone? Oh, it does. Is he on my team, though? Hey. You wanna come follow me, buddy? So he's a... Is he, <laughs> does he just chill down here? Is that what he does? Hey, dude. I have to give it a name, man. Is these guys just chilling? I should have freaking created a pan for them. Well, I guess I can... There he is, though. He looks so happy. You gonna you gonna hit me back? Whoa, he is! Dude, hit him! He hit me! He hit... Dude! See if I kill you? Do I get your sharp... Oh, I, do, I get it back. Okay. So they're not hostile anymore. Which is interesting. Although I need to get the big guy back before he goes on a rampage. So I guess I'll just grab those. You come here, Ice Demon. So I'll grab those, and that'll do us here, so... Oh, I didn't drop one, did I? Oh, he did. Okay, I got one. I'm gonna end that one here, guys. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for this one going up a little later than unusual, but there we go. And I'll catch you guys next time for some more Crackback. Bye-bye.